Hey, over the past couple of days, you may have noticed headlines like these right there on your screen. The polar vortex is splitting in two. Wild winter weather ahead, sudden stratospheric warming. So what does it all mean? Let's bring in meteorologist Grant Gilmore, our resident expert here for some layman's terms. I struggled to even get through that. I, did I get it out right? Yeah, you did. Stratospheric, Stratospheric fancy words there, <laughs> polar vortex. Yeah, what does it all mean? You know, let's, let's, let's explain all this, guys. If you got a minute this morning, let's talk about this. What's going on? Do we need to be worried about it? The short answer is no, but there is some interesting things going on here in in uh, above the North Pole right now. So the polar vortex, all right, it's a large area of low pressure that always begins to appear this time of year above the North Pole. Now, immediately underneath that polar vortex is some of the coldest air on the Earth, and typically that sits right on top of the Arctic, right? When that polar vortex is strong, it remains over the Arctic. Okay. Pause. Let's talk about the stratosphere. The stratosphere, the second layer of the atmosphere. Most of our weather occurs in the troposphere. So 18 miles up is where that polar vortex is. OK, over the last couple of weeks, that stratosphere has warmed only almost 50 degrees and that has an impact on the polar vortex and it could begin to weaken it. And it looks like that is beginning to happen. Here's what could happen. That polar vortex, when it's strong, it stays there over the Arctic, right? but a weaker low pressure system or a weaker polar vortex can slide off of the pole and it can even split into kind of sister polar vortexes and break into pieces. And that's when it all begins to kind of come unraveled. And that's when we see these polar vortexes or that colder air begin to plunge to the south. And that's when we talk about these big snow events, these Arctic surges into right. the eastern half of the United States. An Arctic surge. We're not going to yeah. see uh, any big snow events here in Florida. I'm, I'm going to get probably not, not the here. expert, but I'm going to go with that. All right, probably not here in Florida, but we could see some colder temperatures on the back end of January into February. Right now, at least that cold air is still locked up over the poles. OK, so you're looking at some of the coldest air on Earth up there over the Arctic Circle, 20 to 30 degrees colder or below zero. So it's really cold up there. Over the next couple of weeks, we are still looking at probably cooler than normal temperatures, but that polar vortex could begin to split and plunge south as we head into late January and February, and that's something that we're that we're watching closely.